This video shows how to solve quadratic equations using zero product property. This is the easiest method. So, what is zero product property? It is if the product of two quantities A and B is equal to zero, then set A equals zero or B equals zero. So let's have this example. So let's say we have x minus seven times x plus five equals zero. So how will you solve and how will you find for the values of x? So it says here, set a equal to zero. So let's say this is our a and b is x plus five. So we will set each of them equal to zero. So let's solve for x minus seven first equals zero. Add seven on both sides, cross this out, bring down x, and what is zero plus seven? It is seven. Or b is x plus five equals zero. Then subtract five on both sides, cross this out. So we have x is equal to zero minus five is negative five. So therefore, the solutions are 7 and negative 5. Or you can write this down as solutions 7 and negative 5. How about x minus 7 times 3x plus 2 is equal to 0? Same process, we will set each product equal to 0. So our first product is x minus 7 equal 0. So plus 7 on both sides, just like what we did in the first example. So this is 7. And the second one will be 3x plus 2 equal 0. First step is to subtract 2 on both sides, cross this out bring down 3x and 0 minus 2 is negative 2 to find for x divide both sides by 3 and this is 1 so therefore our x is negative 2 over 3 so what are the solutions x equals 7 and x equals negative 2 thirds to check just please do it on your own let us try x times 7x plus 5 equals 0. So as you can see, this is just x. So this will be x equals 0. We don't need to solve because x is already 0. So your b is 7x plus 5 equals 0. So same process. Subtract 5 on both sides. Bring down 7x. 0 minus 5 is negative 5 and divide 7 on both sides. This is 1, so x is equal to negative 5 over 7. So the solutions are 0 and negative 5 over 7. And for our last example, we have x plus 5 times 2x plus 4 times 2x minus 5 equals 0. The process is the same, but the only difference is there are three quantities in this example. So for the first um, factor, set this equal to 0. So of course, this is negative 5. And for our next factor, 2x plus 4 equals 0. Subtract 4 on both sides cross this out equals negative 4 and divide by 2 so x equals negative 2 and we have 2x minus 5 equals 0 add 5 on both sides bring down 2x 0 plus 5 is 5 divide by 2 so x is equal to 5 over 2. So in this example, how many solutions do we have? We have x equals negative 5, x equals negative 2, and x equals 5 over 2.